nhầm màu này mà chui từ ngọt này nè rồi buồn phía sọc màu Anh em giá lốt lửa ra đạch Ủa hà này hát cơ nông đi mẹ rãi tất áo ấy nè Thousands of new people are coming to our area every year Như nà lãng của này tôi mà gửi tôi mà thay I'm Maggie, I'm from Hong Kong Many are immigrants and refugees from around the world. My name is Anissa and I'm from Somalia, East Africa. Our area has one of the highest rates of refugee relocation in the country. They come from diverse cultures that enrich our communities. But for some, language can be a barrier. More and more refugees coming, more and more immigrants coming because, yes, uh, immigrants may, some of them may come with the language, the English language, but a lot of them nowadays come from war-torn countries. A huge group of people that have come from all over the world to live here and need to avail themselves of medical services, legal services, other kinds of community services. Bonjour, c'est Hakim à Welcome to Superior uh, Court's uh, Bridge to, to the Languages of the World, the Office of Interpreter Services. Tina, quería hablar contigo. Quería preguntarte si podías venir a interpretar para nosotros. A mini UN of sorts that helps non-English speakers navigate the court system. The Russian Perovsky. It's really, really interesting to be involved with people from all over the world, with different cultures. We're always learning things from the interpreters. Martha Cohen is one of three certified Spanish-speaking interpreters on staff. It's Martha. Well, it's your lucky day. She <laughs> and colleague Susana <laughs> Stetrasavri this is Susana in Interpreter Services. started the interpreters program in a tiny office back in 1992. Today, they oversee a large bank of freelance interpreters and are able to service cases in 117 different languages, including American Sign Language. I plan to start a new life, and I will not use cocaine anymore. All the civil cases, all the criminal cases, all the court-related programs, you know, walk-ins. Magandang umaga. Even people that come into the buildings who don't even have cases here but are lost or confused and they don't speak English, they send them up to our office to give them assistance. So we're really involved in every single aspect of superior court life. Armed with a map of the world and a soon-to-be automated paper system, Cohen and Sawry and their team coordinate up to 200 cases at any given time. They go from courtroom to courtroom. And from language to language. Yes. How is it? Fine. It's something Sawri says is much more difficult than simply being fluent in a different language. It's a totally different activity because when you speak, uh, even when you speak two, three, four languages, it doesn't matter. It's one track, you know, you speak one language, and, and, and another time you speak another language. But here, what you have to do is jump from one language to the other and, and go for the concept, the meaning of what the speaker is saying, and render it in the other language. If he gets the sufficient proof for that court, then he would be released. If not, he's going to be held in custody anyway, and the only dispensation for him would be not be getting credit for his time. But we would have this. 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 So this person is not going to release me. And it's more than just using the correct words. It's being a neutral mirror of the person speaking. So the code of ethics for interpreters requires that we are completely impartial and neutral. We can communicate with all the parties since we don't have any vested interest in anything that's happening. And everybody knows that. So we have a very, very good uh, relationship uh, with everybody involved, the, the judges, the staff, the litigants, everybody. Everybody in 117 different languages. It's a difficult task, especially with obscure dialects. 
We go out of the county if we need to and even out of state. We've brought in people from other states to come here to assist us in working mostly on larger trials. And many involved in those trials have made their way through the interpreter's offices. The rooms themselves are a celebration of culture. This office has been called an interpreter museum, which I really like a lot and I felt actually really pleased when somebody mentioned that because I thought that's exactly what we were aiming for. Because for those who work here, justice comes in many different languages. When you have interpreted and you feel you have done a, a good interpretation and the person said everything the person wanted to say and heard the response, that is very satisfying. Thank you very much. For more information on the Office of Interpreter Services, you can call 206-296-9358.